What is up humans? Today we have something really special, something a little different. I've never done a Zoom YouTube video before. So we're linking up with Brian and Bobby from Crush Skate Shop and we're gonna dive into the details of this crushed Dunk Low Nike SB. So we're gonna get all of the dirt on this guy. Um, this is a first for me, so big, huge thanks to Brian and Bobby for joining me. And you guys, if you have any suggestions for making this better, uh, let me know in the comments below. That would be helpful. So stay tuned. Here we go. We're going to jump right into it. Uh, Crush Skate Shop. Let's go. Let's, uh, Brian, like, yeah. everybody's asking, like, the background of the shop, like, how you got it started. I know it was kind of like... I, you know, I watched the video, so I saw there's like two shops in there previously. Like, tell us a little bit about how you got to where you are with, with Crushed. Oh, man, um, long story, <laughs> but, yeah. uh, oh, man, um, started working at AUP probably in, I want to say like 2009, 2010, could be off a little bit it's kind of blurry now but um yeah i started working there and uh dude like <laughs> I, it's it, I, I mean like where do i where do like i mean there's so much that happened in between then and now but um yeah like they went out of business and i had a couple buddies who um like one, like, you know, it was, it was a crazy time for me. Like, um, yeah. having my first kid, um, my daughter Layla was born, um, right around the time when AUP closed. So it was like, uh, you know, I, like I wanted to, it's like, I wanted to do some, like I wanted to be involved in the shop at that time, but yeah, I was just so like, I was doing so many things that, the same time i was like catering i was doing like catering jobs and yeah courier jobs and all kinds of stuff and um so I, I didn't really even i couldn't like be as involved as i wanted to i was like trying to get my life in order and um but uh yeah i mean eventually like when bureau uh decided to close its doors um that's when i was just like all right now's the time you know um yeah just kind of take the reins and keep things going um dude it's it's definitely not it's a hustle the skate shop is a hustle like people think you just get it and it's super easy and it's like i mean there's yeah. been times where i was working two jobs i mean basically i am i'm running all these videos i got a screen printer in the other room right now you know we're doing yeah. all this stuff just to keep the doors open so I yeah feel you on that man yeah it's like yeah, one hundred percent. Like, got to make it work, and um, just luckily for us, like things have just lined up. Like, um, just to do everything through skating. Like, I've kind of like, there was a point in my life where I was just like, man, I'm like, I'm selling cars. I was selling Toyotas. I was like, <laughs> yeah. you know, I was doing all kinds of random stuff, and I was just like, man, this isn't me. You know, like, like really would like, you know, I, like it'd be better for my health and like <laughs> you yeah know, just just all around like overall just um be better to like i don't know i've just somehow like made skateboarding like that that's it you know yeah it's it's kind of just everything's kind of falling into place like um skateboarding wise and i'm just like super super blessed and grateful man for everything so man i i feel that like same similar scenario like i was living in salt lake city and i moved home just because i was like what am i doing i can't do this anymore i have to be in skateboarding and i moved back here to open the shop and there's been a lot of struggle like a lot of times but just like what you said like being blessed and like feeling how everything comes together mm -hmm. it like falls apart and then comes together so many times and yeah. like, kind of evolves every time like because i was like 27 when i opened the shop and I'm, i'll be 40 49 this month Dude. Crazy. so it's been ups ups and downs crazy times so but uh that's really rad um 
Dude, thank you, man. Thank uh, you. Yeah, I'm stoked. I was talking to Bob. I was actually going to try to come up there for the release, but then he couldn't make it. And then we ended up having, we have a comedy show in the shop this weekend. So I was like, ah, oh, there's just too much going on. So yeah. it's kind of weird, but you know, fun stuff. But so how did the, uh, how did this start with Nike? Like everybody, it's funny, like one of the most asked questions is from shops. Like, how did you do it <laughs> from other shops? Like, how it must feel crazy to just be like, yes, like we we're getting to work with Nike. I mean, <laughs> uh, man, like <laughs> it's it's just been. I mean, starting the shop in the COVID was like a big thing um, at the time. Um, with like the protests and everything going on, I feel like um, that really like strengthened uh, like our relationship um, with Nike SB. And, um, but, you know, I've always been super close um, with like, you know, Bob and Tyler and yeah, yeah. Um, started meeting more and more people. And, um, but yeah, I, I, you know, to be honest, like I wasn't expecting that at all. I wasn't, yeah. Didn't see it coming at all. Like kind of just like Yeah. Still kind of blown away and it's real to me. <laughs> I like, love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um that's why it happened. Just not just being who you are and like not not expecting it. Yeah, just not, <laughs> yeah, it was like that wasn't like, you know, I man, I can in a thousand years, man, I can told you like or <laughs> i wouldn't have been expecting this to happen i yeah, just like you know just try to you know stick to the script you know on my end and and hold it down for the community and uh everything's been just working out so far so that's yeah. good so how did you link up with uh it's bobby how did you link up with bobby to to like work how, how does the design process start and how did you link up with Bobby to do that. Bobby's Bobby's my day one, man. Yeah. That's my guy right there. Like, yeah, he's um so ever since I started the shop, like Bobby's been uh like like man, he's been there since day one. Like, you know, right. from the first crush crush graphic, he helped me with that and um, you know, setting up my website, like man, you know, Bobby's like <laughs> yeah, Bobby's been there. Behind too, the curtains. Man yeah just you know like i man i i'm just you know eternally grateful my man like um cool yeah, yeah. but yeah, yeah when it came yeah. to the shoe like it was kind of like a no-brainer like yeah yeah you know bobby's like i don't know bobby like i i, I don't want to put you all out there but <laughs> no, no no it's fine i even i think bob even bob reynolds may yeah. have told you to link up with me because mm -hmm. I had been working on something else that didn't come to fruition, but Bob, I think like you guys were having discussions and he was like, Oh, link up with Bobby. Cause he knows the process and like, yeah, knows how to pitch it, like the, the pitch process and just like had a concept. So from my recollection, that's how it started was Bob was kind of like the, uh, the driving force to like bring us together for that aspect of it. But I had, you know, had already been, like what Brian was saying, like already helping Brian, like deal with uh, opening the shop, like doing the identity, getting the e-com stuff set up, like, and then COVID kind of took everything for a spin. So helping him yeah. do that, like set up raffles. So we had already built a, a relationship, you know, with the shop and then it was just natural to kind of right. work together on the shoe. So um, yeah, it was super seamless. Like, um, but um that's cool yeah yeah i don't want to feel like i you know like let's if we should just jump into the shoe you've got one there i've got a bunch yeah. of I, I figured thumbnail <laughs> shot yeah we all got it look at this guy yeah. as a skateboarder i looked at it and immediately immediately was like pulaski like i didn't yeah. question but so many people are like what what is that like why would they choose that i'm like it's pulaski how do you not know this? Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's kind of dual purpose, to be honest. Like, yeah. I think first and foremost, when we were doing the shoe, is like 
number one like has to be skatable like no patent yeah. leather no crazy stuff like right just want the suede overlay like tumbled leather underlay like something super easy and then it was like the story can kind of develop but like yeah yeah with Bri with brian beginning his kind of like you know the whole crush story with doing like recycles we okay. wanted to do as much as we could with like the nike grind or like repurposing like upcycling stuff just pushing that story right and then the color that we chose was very much like the golden hour vibe but also the main ledge at pulaski like it's yeah it, it kind of it's it's it there's a lot i guess of story elements that are involved and even like the simplest thing of like the grind outsole um which might not be apparent but it's cool that like we, we even when we showed a few of the folks like at the plaza when we were shooting on the social stuff they were like calling out things they're like oh it's this this and we're like yeah like that you you got it yeah. like yeah, yeah people had their own um kind of connection to it so but yeah definitely like pulaski like yeah um, but also just as much crushed um yeah that was cool that was another thing too like doing all the there's like a a, a dozen different concepts that we went through and um, if you don't have any of the other uh concepts later yeah. <laughs> i've seen yeah, that I don't wanna... maybe i shouldn't say this out loud but i've seen some black sheet like uh things oh, that nice. make it to the table <laughs> yeah, yeah. incarnations yeah. and stuff that's always pretty fun but he wouldn't let me show that on video but it was cool to see yeah we just yeah i remember like just our initial conversations of like concepts for the shoe and like we've worked through a ton i won't share any just in case you know something happens in the future but like yeah, yeah. <laughs> with with the, with this shoe like i think we it came down to like it's the first nike sb dunk collab in like the dmv area and like it, it would be really dumb if we didn't in like include pulaski in it at all sure. but it's I also agree. but it's yeah. also it's also Brian shoe it's crushed so it's like everyone knows the story of Pulaski and freedom whatever but yeah. it's like we needed to make sure that crushed was just as prominent in it so yeah that's why there's like all the recycled aglets on the plies and like okay. the tongue and also the so the sole as well and I'll let Brian uh, talk on it more too but for the overall shoe it's like obviously Pulaski is like the driving force behind yeah. it but it's like this is Brian and crush time to kind of get out there and shine. Yeah. So like wanted to make sure that the story that we were telling was paying homage to everyone that came before us in the community, but also it's like, it's Brian's time now. Like, let's tell his story yeah, and that's, get, that's get it. crushed out in the forefront. So. Man. <laughs> <laughs> There's um, more too, but yeah, if we can. Yeah. There's can so much in, more. Sure. I did yeah. recognize that this was grind. I said it, I did like a quick look yesterday. Yeah, we just watched that. <laughs> this is this is right. I'm not sure, but it might be. And then yeah, this is the big question. Like I've never seen the flat yeah. on look like that. That looks like it's grind as well. It yeah. is. Th yeah, they That's they really did cool. the we. Yeah, I think on um, so we on some of the other earlier samples we did. You know, there's varying levels of grind, like the amount of recycled product that's in it and the size of the pieces and um i think one of the other earlier samples doesn't have the drop-in grind on it but for uniformity and continuity i was like it looks so much cooler to have the grind in there like i think it was um like david on the design team that was like we can drop in the grind and the um the file on and i was like yeah that's that's really cool. sick i've never i've that's never really seen it i don't out. even know yeah uh -huh, 100 percent um so yeah, and it, it's also just like unique to every shoe too. So like, I like the idea of everything kind of being special. Like no one's gonna have the exact same shoe. Right. Yeah, and going on with that, like, yeah, like the swooshes, if you check the swooshes, like all the swooshes are different. Yeah. Um, like I have yet to see see one like that's the same as the other or, any kind mm -hmm. of combination like that and that was like super special man like always uh you know just looking at dunks man i've always uh always like you know like that idea of like every dunk being different in some form yeah. or fashion like yeah um so like everybody gets like their own special pair um but yeah like 
Goodness gracious, I mean, there's so much to go in, but I guess, Bobby, should we give him that that one extra little thing nobody's yeah. touched on yet? Nope. I was going <laughs> to say that, like, we've, I, I know, like, the design team is, like, really into little hidden details and just, yeah. like, when, wanting people to explore, but I think it's cool to do it now, because I thought someone would have found it by now. It's, like, nothing crazy. It's nothing, like, yeah, yeah. wild, but, yeah. But Brian, if you wanna, well, I have both shoes, but yeah, yeah, yeah if I you uh, grab the other one, but hold on, yeah, yeah, you can, yeah, you can get better. I'll let Brian do it, but underneath the time labels, there's a message. Uh, so like on on each, if you look inside and fold up the tongue flap, the, the tongue, yeah, it says on the uh, on the left, it says build. Oh yeah. And then on the right, it says together. So, oh, that's pretty sick. Yeah, I did not. As yeah, much as I looked it, at this shoe, I did not look at that. Yeah. So, brides got together. <laughs> and so, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. We, we, yeah, we wanted to put something in there. Again, like Crushed is extremely community focused. I think that's something like day one that Brian's tried to push through. And it's like, it's like either doing events or trying to support other orgs that are doing events or like yeah hooking people up with discounts or like i can't tell you the amount of times i've seen brian take apart his own personal board and like give it to someone at the plaza or at the shop so it's like community is like a huge thing so we wanted to also push together like push this narrative narrative of like just togetherness and and trying to like move forward together and be inclusive and all that jazz so um but that's like, yeah, that I'm really surprised no one has seen that yet or like pulled that up. But to be fair, there's a lot going pretty, on when you yeah, it's pretty cool. Look on the inside. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I thought I thought I caught everything too. That's uh that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I we I did watch your video yesterday just to see like what <laughs> you ascertained from everything. Yeah. I intentionally didn't talk about like you know like what i thought of this and what i thought of yeah this, you know just like because i wanted you guys to be able to tell us about it well sure. the next thing though is like i know you called out the tongue and you said you knew what it was but maybe so yeah what do you I mean it's like <laughs> the black think? maybe the black and um white marble tiles that's uh... um it's close it's, it's, you, or, the, yeah. or i was like is there a grate there i don't know i can't can't remember it it's uh out. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's um <laughs> it's yeah it's the um yeah go ahead brian so it's the it's the planners man like the planners that are around the plaza yeah and, yeah we like, have this like um Let's see man, if i can get, like just unblur real quick i'll yeah. have to look at the planners i don't remember that yeah, yeah so if you the, look at old footage yeah you can okay. see the diamond pattern okay uh, yeah, yeah i think this. even kev just had a photo there not too long ago um kevin augustine who, who you know is vice for the shop and yeah all that i think he has footage of it because right now there's like all the the plants over top of the the yeah. uh, feels you can't really see it too much but yeah, well, regardless, oh, yeah. that's a cool feature. Like, it just looks, aesthetically, yeah. it stands out. Yeah, you can see in this photo on IG, I'll send it to you, but you can see the planner yeah. behind Kev. So it's like, um, okay, kind of cool. Uh, it's it's like one something, more piece of yeah. something that's always stuck out to me at the plaza. Um, the planners, uh, the trash cans, because we skate those. Um, yeah, yeah. They have that same, same, uh, same uh, design on them, and uh, I just thought it'd be really sick to put that in the tongue. Um, yeah, that's a little good. breathable situation, but no, nah, it goes, it goes perfect, yeah. man. I, I yeah, super hyped on how that turned out. That's cool. Harley from the design team did a really good job on it because we we've seen like two different versions of it and. Uh, there was one where the pattern was like a little bit tighter and like the overlay cloth was different and it wasn't really like coming through that clearly. So, um, yeah, just again, shouting out the design team at SB for like 
being really collaborative and understanding kind of the the vision and knowing yeah. that we wanted to be able to see through and see the cutout of the foam and like it's it's clear as day like when you look at it now that there is a pattern on top so right yeah exactly um yeah well that's that brings up another good question that a lot of people are asking is like how much control did you have over the design process and uh materials etc cetera, etc cetera. um i mean i can tell you straight up that like one of the tech packs or cads that i put together from like day one like it is very close to what the final product is and okay we again like it's not like we own the process like 100 percent, and they just have to abide by it and like yeah, whatever yeah. so they but i they will kind of suggest like different materials or options you know obviously there's like price points based on everything like we can't go fully crazy and like do a full custom like yeah i don't know like solid gold aglet or whatever like everything has its its price so right. but like i never felt pushback from the design team if anything they really took the idea and backstory and just like really took all of that in and understood the the vision and then just amplified what we were trying to do so even with the the marble swoosh like we had several ideas that we wanted to do with it and i, I believe it was carly on the team that had showed us a sample of like this molded TPU material. And they're like, you know, it's a giant sheet. Like we can cut it. So every switch is unique. And we're like, yeah, that's yeah, so that's cool. Um, so yeah, I think just they obviously know what's going to work best. So like with this particular um, design concept, like they knew the run with this, like it just had such a rich history. And so yeah, they're, they're, I never felt like they straight up said no to anything. It was always just uh, you know, a cooperative movement. They're like, well, maybe let's try this instead, or like, you know, trying a new material. So yeah, it, it's like hand in hand. I, it was cool. It was sick. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, we got about ten minutes, eight minutes left of this uh, this call mm -hmm. here. Um, let's see. Inspiration. I do have one more thing. Yeah, let's see. It. Yeah, I, I I just wanted to make sure that this like this I was gonna get there. Yeah. Too. So like the I think the like coolest thing that we did is like obviously you know had Brian do the the crush tag, uh, which is like prominent on a lot of the stuff that we're doing. Uh, this is actually the back of the shop. I I, I photoshopped Randomly two walls together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like this so, must be the bricks at the shop. <laughs> yeah, so it's. If you if you actually go well you can't really see it now like as a customer but behind the shop i left like a bunch of these white stickers like everywhere because i was just shooting photos and which is going to yeah. comp in the logo later but the graffiti i know people were like asking like what that was before they're like oh it's just like some random tags but it's actually uh our daughter's names so that's awesome brian's kids are layla and ella and then i have my uh daughter up here kaya as well and it's kind of funny because we had to send a tech pack out to the factory to do all this and i kind of forced my wife to pick a name for our daughter like before she was born <laughs> <laughs> because initially yeah, when I did skateboarding this, <laughs> yeah when i when i initially did this it was just brian's daughters and he's like dude you can't like you can't not put your kid's name I, on there i'm I like i love that and I was like, so shit, but I haven't, we haven't picked a name. So like me and my wife like sat down and I was like, I know this is like very weird and like you're very pregnant and probably don't want to deal with this right now. But I was like, we, we had to pick it. We had to pick a name. So it'll, and so like, that was the other thing too. It's like, I wanted Brian and I to be able to share this with our kids and like That's so have cool. them so when they think that we're like super lame and boring <laughs> when we're older we can just be like oh remember when we immortalized you yeah the insult of issue are you gonna bring that That's up again dad <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah. i'm gonna, sick. gonna own that. that one forever yeah so yeah. yeah sorry i know there's more questions that you had but that was like i just wanted to make sure people knew that you know you know again all about family community whatever so that's yeah. like a little 
little Brian yes, Bobby. I love it. Uh, you know, yeah, talking about that, I have like 40 or 50 complete sitting next to me that's just giveaway, like working awesome. with after school programs and stuff like that. So that's rad. Oh, you nice. guys are doing all that stuff. I think any real, I think all real skate shops are doing that kind of stuff. I don't know. I mean, it's the way to stay relevant now and to stay like show people that like online is not necessarily the way to do it. Like yeah. brick and mortar shops are the ones that are making the community like, you know, flourish and stay alive. Like, yeah, with Brian doing events, you giving away completes, like everything that Atlas does out in, you know, uh, SF, like every raffle they do, they're sending money to like, you know, uh, yeah. a food kitchen or Puerto Rico. So it's like, yeah, no, the, it's, Skate shops are what keep things moving and hundred percent like, yeah, even more so now it's like, I feel like more important to be community focused just again. Yeah. It's a, it's a tough market. So I think that's good, man. I, I would like to ask like, what, what's the, uh, like, tell us more about crush the name and like what it came from. you you were talking a lot about recycling, <clears throat> giving back and do I feel like whenever I'm like the biggest hippie when it comes to the skate shop. And so when somebody else starts talking about that, I'm like, okay, cool. Let's hear more. <laughs> right. Oh yeah. man. <laughs> oh, I got Bob calling me. Um, Jeff off Bob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Crush. Like, uh, so crush, I mean, definitely originates from the recycled, um, that I was doing. Um, like before the shop opened, um, it's definitely like how I, you know, it was how I raised money to open the shop. It was like huge deal. So I really wanted to like keep that name running. Um, but it was also at a time in my life when everything was like, like you said, like, you know, like, you know, things fall apart and then, you know, like they come back like together, like it's just, it's it's hard to explain man i mean um it was a tough time in my life you know having my first kid and um like working so many jobs and uh at the time i wasn't working at the shop anymore so i was like fully doing crest recycles and um yeah that it just it really stuck with me you know and yeah that's a good name man it's cool i like it hey thank you man and i i wanted to use crush because it it just applies to uh, it could apply to anyone like in however they see it you know and yeah. um, and that's like also like why I feel like the shoe is also like a a good compliment um, to the name just because like you know everybody's gonna look at it and you know feel what they're feeling in one way or another you know like it don't like it all that like crushed is good and bad it's like <laughs> it's yeah. like it could be interpreted or interpreted in so many different ways and um but yeah man i mean you know i'm just just blessed man like i said just blessed to be it. doing this and um hey <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> so like, I'm, I'm still yeah. doing it too <laughs> you know, like yeah. yeah like i mean shoot like uh, i guess to put it all in perspective, like, um, for anybody who's going through like a tough time in their life, you know, like, um, I hope that crush could be an inspiration to like push through whatever you got going on and, um, you know, see, uh, Love something positive at the end of the road, you know, like stay positive through the negative. It's always a balance, you know, so. and we all need it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that. <laughs> I was talking about that the other day. We got one minute, so mm -hmm. we're, we're, we should wrap up. Um, I literally have like the the base version of Zoom, and it gives you forty minutes. I thought that'd be more yeah. than time, but, but <laughs> I, I know you guys got a, another meeting pretty soon, so I'll let you go. But Dude. thank you guys both so much for for doing this. I'm I was hyped. Dude, I'm Dude. I'm hyped to do it, Dave. Like, thank you for the time, thank man. You. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Nice to meet you, Bobby, Brian yeah pleasure yeah thank you again for for everything you do like locally with your community in the shop and just letting us come here and talk and tell our story so dude i love it thank you so yeah. much thanks guys yeah. dude, Peace. Right, dude. Talk, we'll Later. talk soon
right. Talk soon. Okay. Appreciate it, man. Later. Peace. That is it, guys. We're wrapping it up. We wrapped it up. They wrap. We wrapped it up. It's over. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I hope this, you know, I left it long. I was going to chop it up, but I, I got Kari to help me, and uh, we decided to leave it long. So let me know what you guys think of that. Should, did you want all of that, or should we have just given you some, some little tidbits, some little tastes? Anyway, guys, that is it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this different video for me. So all the best. Love Blue Tile. Peace.